I drink like super hot Milo. Super? Yes. <laughs> so like, boiling water just? Uh... Hi guys, my name is Janelle. I'm 22 years old this year. I'm currently a freelance creative specialist at Wa Banana. I do TikTok on the side, more of like a fitness enthusiast, sharing about my life and stuff like that. And also, I'm a spin instructor, yes. <laughs> I'm here today to talk to kids. Are you great with kids? I hope I am, uh, but I haven't been interacting with kids much. This one. Today you'll be challenged to explain and hold a conversation with a 13-year-old about puberty and girls and how they can handle it. Oh, tough. Going through puberty is tough and confusing time and kids may feel ashamed or unsure of what they're going through. So let's help a kid out and assure them that this is a natural part of growing up and there's nothing to be ashamed of. Find out what they can know about topic and try your best to correct him or her if they're wrong. You're also challenged to provide age-appropriate information to help the child understand the topic better. You'll be given 10 minutes to impart your knowledge. Your explanation will be rated by an expert. There's an expert rating. Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Adila. I'm a pediatrician from KK Women's and Children's Hospital. My work involves the care of sick children in the hospital, but uh, my passion also lies in working with the community to improve child health. Puberty uh, is basically the process whereby a child actually physically transforms into a sexually mature young adult. Puberty starts with the development of the breast buds, followed by the appearance of body hair over the underarms and the genitals. The hips actually broaden, the thighs and the buttocks uh, thicken, and then uh, vaginal discharge can happen, which is uh, basically a sticky mucus that appears on the underwear. And the final uh, event will be the first menstruation or menses. Quite okay because uh, I'm a girl that went through puberty also. I think also to get them to understand is one thing because uh, I, I guess a lot of girls have like puberty changes at different stages of life. Like I got, I got my period pretty late as a child compared to other people. So everyone was having their period around me already and then I was like, oh, I don't have my period yet. Until one day when I was doing like splits at Chinese dance, I realised that my period came. And I didn't even know that that was my period. The changes of puberty are similar for all children, but the when you get these changes differ, it may also lead to embarrassment as well if a child gets a period very early, for example, versus someone who gets it very late. Hello. 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 What's your name? Um, April. Okay, I'm Janelle. Nice to meet you. How old are you this year? Uh, I'm 13 this year. Are you ready to learn from me today? Yes. <laughs> okay. But first, how are you feeling now? Are you nervous? Quite nervous. Okay, it's your first time on camera, right? Yes. Okay, shall we wave to the camera and say hi? Hello. Okay, hi. <laughs> Shake it off. It's my actual body <laughs> ready. You say already? Okay. So what do you know about puberty actually? A ch child just like starts um, to grow up and like goes through puberty and like starts having changes like mm. with the body. Have you started noticing changes in your body yet? Yes. Okay, like what kind of changes? Example, I started having like period. Oh, you had your period? Yes. A lot more other stuff like body hair. Mm, body hair. Actually, she knows eh. Okay, thank you. The show is a wrap then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, talking about physical changes, do you know there's also like acne? Yes. Body odour? Um, and you experience like a growth also, right? Yeah. Chest growth. Like how much have you grown actually from before your puberty versus like now during your puberty, do you realise you grew a lot taller? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Why did you not do it for me? Uh? <laughs> Why did puberty not do it for me? For girls, right, the growth spurt actually happens uh, pretty early. So the breast develop, the body hair appears, then they get their growth acceleration. And then the, the growth actually slows down towards the end when they get their first menses. Once the first menses comes, then the rate of growth actually slows down. So someone who enters puberty earlier may be taller in the beginning, but their final height may actually not be the same as someone who uh, goes through puberty later. Do you realise that like, maybe like you sweat more or you have like body odour or so? Yeah. Do you use deodorant? No. Do you think, do you find your friends sometimes like you can smell their body odour yeah. by chance? So basically, apparently like you cannot smell your own body odour. Have you tried smelling it before though? Yeah, okay. So basically, uh, what I learned from that is that you use deodorant. So that one like apparently like blocks your armpit glands or something from like sweating. Yeah, so that it won't smell. You say you experience body hair also. Do you know like how to upkeep? Like take care of it, like your body hair? I mean, I've saw a lot of videos uh, like doctors saying, Oh, don't, don't like do anything about it, just let it be. Mm. But my mom is like, 
I'll just shave it off. Like, honestly, cannot see, but don't care lah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that doctors say just let it be. Taking care of body hair is part of personal grooming. It is something very important because if it is, if a child is not well groomed, a teenager is not well groomed, the risk of skin infections, uh, you know, body odor and things like that will increase. But when do you actually start noticing your armpit hair? Like um, in primary five. Oh, yeah. primary five. Okay, so I guess your puberty started pretty early. Yeah, I had my period. Like primary four. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, you when you're ten. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. I had mine then like five years later. Like I, I guess a lot of people are getting their period earlier and earlier because when I used to be in secondary school, like a lot of us didn't have our periods at all. Like even when we enter secondary school, like a lot of us weren't wearing like bras either yet because like a lot of us haven't developed like chest. Yeah. But does your breast feel tender every time? Like when your period's gonna come? No. Feel like painful? No. No? Like no. do you realise it swells up or anything? It used to. <laughs> oh, it used to. No, not anymore. One of the first few changes when that happened really early, uh, maybe about 8-9 years old for girls, is they start to feel some pain because of the development of the breast buds. It may be distressing to some children, especially at that very young age. Do you get like uh, emotional changes before your period? Like do you feel a bit like upset and stuff like Yeah, that? mood swing. Yeah, do you watch TikTok? Like you scroll a lot of TikTok, right? Like a lot of girls will always say like, I'm so sad, but maybe it's just my period, but maybe I'm overreacting. Like do you have like those moments where you feel very like overwhelmed? Yeah. So these are called like hormonal changes, I guess. Swing, how do you handle it? Mood swing, how I handle it? <laughs> I just cry. <laughs> and then, like, I just want to ask, like, do you experience like cramps? Yeah. Beard cramps, how bad is it? It's like, the moment I have it, it's very painful. Oh, like, unbearable kind of painful. Yeah. How do you, like, deal with it? Two Panadol just. <laughs> oh, like, every time? Uh, if it's really painful, then yeah. But if not, I'll just use like, you know, those heat bag. Where like, mm. you can put warm water inside. And then you just put it on your uh, stomach. That's what I do also. My period cramps are also so bad. Like, for me, it's like, it's so bad to a point that like, I cannot function. Like, I cannot go to school or cannot go to work. Let's say, uh, you know, Panadol helps it one time and it goes away, then that's okay. But if she is really having to take Panadol all the time and cannot even stand or walk, uh, then this will need uh, medical attention. Last time when I was in school, when I had my period, right, I always like crouch at the back of the class because I need to lie down. So every time when it comes, right, I will lie down at the back of the class. But people think I'm crazy lah. Then there was this one girl that walked up to me, she was like, oh my god, you're so dramatic. And that's because not all girls experience like cramps apparently, like only some. And like some are on the extreme end and some just like slightly painful. Then after when you go to the toilet, after you realise like got blood clot come out. Do you have blood clots by the way? Like yes. period blood clots. Then do you realise that after your blood clots come out, right? Like it is like your cramps just go away. No, it stays. <laughs> oh, it stays ah. Normally, um, period takes like a week, right? But my cramps will take about three, four days. Do you know the cycle usually for people is very different? Like some of their period cycle, like their menstrual uh, period, right, lasts from five to seven days, and some even more. Yeah. I feel bad for them. Yeah, I feel bad for them too. <laughs> uh, on average, right, the cycle is about maybe five to seven days. But if it is really very excessive, prolonged bleeding, uh, lots and lots of clots, then uh, this again would need, um, uh, you know, a doctor's advice. You have friends that like don't experience cramps at all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why. Like, so like she goes like walk around normally. Yeah. She's like, oh, I have my period. Oh, before not, no, right? No, you know, yeah, that's all. why not not all have very bad cramps, but those who have it like super bad, it's like super bad. For me, like what works is like I drink like super hot Milo. Super. Yes. <laughs> so like, boiling water just. Uh. Okay lah, maybe not boiling water like, but like super hot one. Like just boil pour inside, then I sip using spoon. And like, you know like Milo dinosaur, yes. but the hot one, yeah. So I pour a lot. Maybe next time I can try. Helps <laughs> me feel better. Okay, maybe I can share you some more tips on how to deal with cramps, okay? okay? So the first one will be drinking plenty of water, or even like herbal teas, chamomile teas. Or do you know what's Hong Zhao Cha? Uh, what red date tea? Apparently it helps to boost like your blood. In Chinese, they say like bu xue. So it's like before your period or during your period, like people will always drink like red dead tea or so. Hydration is very important. Try to avoid um, uh, high sugar drinks. Water is still the best. Whether certain types of teas uh, that she mentioned, for example, really help, or there is no evidence. The key is fluids and hydration. Okay, so next one is like eating a balanced diet. That one I really know lah. Like we, we all know, right? It's like a 
like general health thing. Eating a balanced diet will lead to a healthier lifestyle as well. Getting more vitamin D via natural light of food. Oh, that's something new that we learned together today. Yes. Yeah, getting more vitamin D and also aiming to get 7 to 9 hours of sleep to relieve fatigue and improve your overall well-being. It is very important throughout puberty to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So this includes uh, a good diet, uh, plenty of hydration and exercise. There might be increased body fat and so on and we don't want to add the problem of obesity as well to all the changes that the child is experiencing. Do you have like uh, talks with girls like whose chest is bigger and stuff like that? No. Or like them telling saying that oh they are very uncomfortable with their chest oh, and stuff yes. like that. Oh what do they say? So like I, this was like in primary 6 and like I had this one friend who was like I wouldn't say fat but it's like um, a bit like bigger size mm. and she'll go like oh my, my chest is so uncomfortable I want like the size of yours and I'm like I'm sorry but I can't do anything about it oh, yeah I, I do realise like sometimes people are uncomfortable with their own chest size as well and they will mm. say like oh I want yours that kind of thing mm. yeah I guess it's like there's pros and cons of having different chest sizes lah for females, it will be about chest size, right? For males, it will be about penis size. It doesn't matter. It's not going to affect you in any way. This is something that we cannot control. It's in our genes. Have you ever like received uh, remarks from guys about like ch girls' chest sizes? Mm -hmm. What do they say? So like, there's this one friend of mine. So he just walked past me and he was like, April, why are you so flat? God. I look at him and I'm like, so young. I'm like, is it your problem? Oh my god, I, I really am. <laughs> like, because I do like TikTok and stuff like that. I get a lot of comments, people calling me, like, they, they always say, like, oh, Changi Airport landing or something like that. So, because you know the runway is flat, right? Yeah, so, yeah. like, they always say, say, like, flat and stuff. But honestly, I just don't care anymore. It just doesn't affect me. If you ever get these comments, don't let it, like, affect you. Like, own it. You know, I think as long as you're very confident with what you have and uh, and show people that you're confident, it's fine. Like, because as long as you are happy with yourself and how you look, that's the most important. Yeah. Growing up as a woman, I think you would face a lot of insecurity. I hope that along the way as you grow up, you feel very certain on yourself and you won't have doubts. If you ever feel very insecure about your body and stuff like that, always know that you only live once. So basically, enjoy what you have now and enjoy the moment instead of just worrying about just solely on how you look. But there's a lot, if you open your eyes and see, there's actually a lot more factors around you like your family, your friends and all the achievements you have that will keep you forward. That was really, really very good advice from Janelle. I really like that. All these comments like what April mentioned, right, is going to just lead to mental health issues like anxiety, depression, fear of school, absenteeism and so on. How was the conversation for you? It was very enjoyable <laughs> because to be honest, other than talking to my mum, I've never like got into quite like this kind of talk with anyone before. Even with my friends, if I do this with them, they'll just take it as a joke. They'll just laugh it off at the end. I really appreciate this session. Wow. <laughs> For me, I always wanted a younger sister. It's very nice to communicate with uh, someone around my brother's age or so because my brother is a uh, guy and he's not very comfortable talking to me about his puberty changes as well. I really enjoyed that conversation also. You know, you can see April really opening up because April strikes me as someone who is more reserved, not someone who's going to willingly share information but she actually opened up to Janelle and Janelle touched on really very important points. Uh, so not only about the physical changes of puberty but also the emotional changes. April, what's your biggest the part where like just be yourself and like appreciate what you have now. Just be happy with it. You only live once. Yes. yes. <laughs> I like that. How would you rate Janelle's explanation today? I rate her an 8. 8 out of 10. Okay, that's not bad already. I would actually rate her 9 out of 10. So did you both have fun today? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching this episode of Little Did I Know. Yes, for more exciting content of Clarity, you can follow itsclarity.co on Instagram. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye! <laughs> my first period was like a day after my birthday. Oh! It was quite special la, so I could remember it like very well. <laughs> oh my god, you know when I had my period, I didn't even know it was my period. I thought like I dirtied my underwear. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's all. I thought maybe like something one, two or something. <laughs>